Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of King Duke and Sun's Light, and we're still on the mastery level. These rooms will take significantly longer all by themselves and probably the rest of the rooms, uh, just because they're that much harder, and it's been a long time since I was managed to complete them to give some sort of, uh, I don't know, I was busy or something, but I haven't been able to figure out uh, how to, what I need to do, because this closes all the doors. I can't, I have to be in here when this happens. I can put the mimic in here, I suppose, but then who's going to open these doors? Um, that being my primary concern. Um, so, it seems to me that what I want to have happen... Well, let's see. Actually, let's just do this again. Okay, so now the queen has left this way. I cannot retreat in this direction, so let's... No, I don't want that either. I don't believe. I can leave a path this way. Okay, so now, yes, my plan is to have a way to get back. Okay, see how it's... Now, if I, if I crossed this threshold right here... I can... Wait, check this out. It's fleeing, but now it's going to be stuck against this thing right here. Mm -hmm. But now I have a path to get back. So now if I save here, if I close this and then send it, yes, up the path, then the Mimic has a chance to kill it because the Queen is too stupid to realize that the Mimic has in fact a sword. Alright, that was a beautiful secret room with lots of things like options where it made you think, okay, well, what, what do I, I do not need to do? That A good puzzle in my opinion had red herrings, things that are, they could be part of the puzzle but you're not sure and you have to deduce what's important and what isn't. In my opinion, those these kinds of puzzles are lots and lots and lots of fun. My favorites. Whew, lots of mimic potions, just enough in which to kill everything, but I can only place them on open areas like this, so I have to be choosy in where I uh which mimic potions I use for what. Like so this one makes sense to perhaps use for this one, and this one perhaps makes sense to use for um. Hmm. Actually, I want to say that this one is used for this one, and this one is used for this one right up here at the top, because it's the only way I can see that working out. So I believe that to be true. These two, I, I'm confident in that they were, that was the right thing to do, because there was no other two potions in which I'm able to get these roaches over this far so that I can place them here. So those two I'm sure about now. About the rest. This potion is the only one high enough in order to get this one to move, so this makes sense there. Um, this complicates things a little bit. These two are not low enough yet. Uh, but they do, however... Let's see here. I want to believe that like this one is good enough for you, and this one is good enough for you. And then this one is... Yeah, these are both fine. Okay, and I have one left over. Beautiful. Oh wait, no, there wasn't one left over. There's just enough. Okay, so that just that was a clever puzzle. Which which where do you place the mimic potions in order to be able to actually place the potions and kill the roaches? A good puzzle didn't take me near as long as the last one, but you know it gives you a thought of like how what kind of variety of puzzles. And we've also eliminated the fact that we that these three entrances are not the ones we need to do to solve this middle sort of hubbish room. So let's continue this way. Um, hmm, interesting. Um, I do see that I can stand in this position to get a couple of the roaches trapped such that my my suffering is minimized a little bit once I free all of these. Okay, so now... Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. Oops. Uh... Not what I wanted to do either. Okay, so I feel like this is the right thing to do, generally. Perhaps I could... Well, let's see. Nope, I did that too slowly. I need something to hide behind, almost. Hmm. 
time is null. <laughs> okay, I've apparently earned an achievement, but I'm not sure what, so I'm going to check. Undo a total of 250 moves. Perfect. That makes me feel great. <laughs> I'm glad I get a, an achievement for being bad at this game. That makes me feel really good about myself. I don't feel like activating the evil eyes is the right thing to do. In this circumstance. This is a question now becomes... Oops. Ugh, stupid. There's still like too many roaches to contend with. Hmm. Way too many. I want to believe that I can, uh... Like this side just seems easier to handle, so I want to back up into here, perhaps? This seems... more manageable, perhaps? Something like this. There we go. Finally, just was a matter of finding out the, the right spot. Okay. And now I'm out of here. And I do believe this is the right position for, uh... Nope, never mind. It's not. I don't think. Simply because... Oh, wait. Oh, right, there, it's a roach queen, not a roach. Der. <laughs> or, no, sorry, a roach queen would flee from me. I thought that this was a roach queen. Okay, so now... That's interesting what just happened there. I can... I don't want that to occur. Um, I don't want that to occur either. Actually, that might be an interesting thing to have happen. Make the roaches be like a bridge of sorts, like this. And now, the, the uh, yes, perfect. Okay, that was clever. Yeah, I remember doing that now. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, as you can see, I mean, that was a great example of a linchpin puzzle. Oh, the, the, to notice that the only way to get that Wraithwing to not dive into an area was to make a bridge out of roaches who will step into it once you step down here and then be unable to cross them and thus making your life a lot better. Ah. Uh, looks like I'm under a pretty strict spawn cycle here. Looks like I have to get to a Mimic Potion fairly fast in order to stop these two from spawning babies, because the second they do... Well, and int interestingly, I'm actually going to start the room in this position, because there's no way I'm going to be able to drop all the trapdoors. By the way, red doors drop when uh, all the trapdoors fall. I don't think there's anything indicating that, or hasn't been so far, but it's true. They are special gates, so... Okay, so that would help that one out. Actually, I'm going to see if I... I wonder if you know if I... Well, I don't want him to do that. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time, but I'm going to start my sword in this position. And now, when I... Just barely enough time in which to do that, and see, the Wraithwing actually blocked the, uh, the growing of this queen's baby, so that's how I had to handle that. Now I have to clear out the rest of the room, uh, in my own vaguely timely fashion. It should be okay with this small noticing of the fact that I am too slow. Okay. I'm gonna wait here for this uh, roach to be the blocker for the own, own, own mom. Its own mom. All right, and now I should be able to. Oh dang it! I wasn't fast enough. All right, I just did it wrong. Wait up here for a second. Two, one, go. I'm actually going to try to let that happen again. There was probably a way more efficient way to do that, but I just was unable to do it. And now I'm going to place the uh, two mimic potions I have. Ooh, that was bad. I did not mean to do that. Oh, son of a. I'm so stupid. Anyway, I've run out of time. I'll have to finish this on my next video. This has been your host, Pearls, doing my Let's Play of King Duke and Dungeon Light, and I shall definitely finish this up next time. Uh, bye bye for now.